Hey there, welcome to today's video. I hope that you will be flattered and not offended that I did not clean up my craft space for you. I am not a tidy crafter. I will make one project and things will be left out all over every flat surface. There's trash behind me on the floor, there's supplies, there's scraps. It's no wonder that I have a hard time finding scissors. Uh, if you can relate, great. If you are a clean as you go crafter, please feel free to leave me a tip because I could definitely use some improvement there. Mostly you are getting this whole big view so that I can show off this new air purifier from Resiners. It is running on a Kickstarter campaign right now. I will leave details in the description and it is a must have for your craft room if you work with resin. It filters the air as you're working and it gives you a clean workspace. This is especially great if you live in an area where it's gonna start getting colder and it's harder to leave windows open to make sure you're getting fresh air in. So I'm gonna show you how to use that in the video. And then what I'm going to be making today is this tumbler. It's blue and sparkly and it's got a Taylor Swift lyric quote on it. So as you're watching this video, make note of any questions that you have and make sure to leave me a comment and I will answer them for you. I have this really nice Owala water bottle that I tried to engrave for someone and it didn't work so then it just kind of became a test piece and I knew that I wanted to kind of save it for myself to add resin to. So that's what I'm doing today. The first thing I'm going to do is spray paint it. So I'm adding in the tumbler post and then taping around the stainless steel because I don't want to get any spray paint on that just on the black part. I took it outside to spray paint and you can see I also wrapped some plastic wrap around it to protect uh, the turner post. And I did two coats. You wanna just follow the instructions on your spray paint to see how soon you can do a second coat. And then once the spray paint was totally dry, I took it back into the craft room, took off all of the painted tape, and then I'm going to add some more tape again because now I'm gonna add some resin and some glitter, and I wanna make sure that no resin gets on the stainless steel. So I used washi tape this time so that I could get it real close that I had more control since it was skinny tape. Once that was taped on, then I installed the turner post into the actual turner. If you have one like this, I'm sure the installation is very similar. You're gonna have a post with a screw back that will secure the post to the turner. This is where I'm going to set up the Resiners Pure Air air purifier. The first time you use it, you're going to take off the top. You're going to remove the air filter and take it out of the plastic bag. And then you'll set the filter back into the base. And then up inside the top part, you'll see there is a cord with a plug on the end. And it's gonna go down into the center of the base. So plug that in and then set the top back on. Then you'll be able to plug in the base to your power supply. It will turn red and green for just a second. Then you'll need to push the power button. You'll get all this information on the display. And then I'm just gonna set it to auto so that it will detect the VOCs in the air and increase the fan if it needs to. So I'm mixing up a two part epoxy resin. I made two ounces, but it was more than I needed. You could probably do just one ounce for this first coat here. Just follow the mixing instructions for whatever resin you're using. You're gonna drizzle it over the painted water bottle and then smooth it out with a gloved hand. You can see I've also taped down some freezer paper. You can use whatever you want to just protect your surface underneath the turner, um, but it is going to get some drips and then we're also sprinkling glitter. So you definitely want something underneath to minimize the mess. If you're gonna make a few tumblers, then you can try both ways and see what you like best. Make sure you get a little bit of resin down on the base of the cup as well, and just smooth that out with your gloved hand. When the resin looks like it's spread out pretty evenly, then you can bring out a heat gun and just give it a few passes. This will make sure that any air bubbles are released. This is where I'm adding some glitter. This is like a holographic blue fine. These two glitters are both from Color Creators and they have a lot of really pretty options. So if you're looking to expand your glitter collection, make sure you check those out. The air purifier is working. When I first turned it on, the VOC of the room was around 0.05. And then once I started working with the resin and especially when I put it in to the resin dryer, that resin really started to cure. The TVOC, that jumped up to over one. And then the light in the purifier turned red and it bumped up to a higher fan speed. And and then some time passed and it turned back to green. So it's great you can see it actually work. After the tumbler has been spinning in the dryer for about an hour, that's when I go in and I remove the tape around the top just because I don't want it to uh, fully cure and seal that tape in. 
When that resin layer has cured and it's no longer tacky, then I give it a sanding with 180 grit sandpaper. You could also use a hand sander if you wanted to, um, but just be careful because that can really take away a lot more material than you want. Uh, then I made sure it was completely dust free by wiping it with a paper towel that had some rubbing alcohol on it. You wanna do this process to just rough up the surface a little bit so the next layer of resin will stick to it. So I do that again anytime before I'm going to add another layer of resin. Here I split about an ounce and a half of mixed resin into four little cups. Two of them got glitter, one of them got some white mica powder, and the last one I just left plain. And I drizzled that first to give it a clear coat base. Then I added on some more glitter. And for the white resin, I just made some little drizzles and then swirled it around a little bit with my finger and the heat gun. And as it twists around and cures, it creates this kind of cool galaxy cloudy kind of look. Again, when you're done with that layer, you're going to load it back into the resin dryer if you have one. Be sure to keep the air purifier turned on and remove that tape after it's been in for about an hour. This part is optional, but when that layer was all cured, I sanded it down so it was smooth again and I cut out a phrase from vinyl with my Cricut and then added just a top clear coat to seal everything in and make everything shiny again after I had sanded it. And then here it is going into the dryer for the last time. You can see here where the air purifier has turned back to green. Okay, and then I wanted to show you one more step that's really useful. After you take off the tape from the stainless steel part, take a cleaning wipe or a paper towel with some rubbing alcohol and just give it a little bit of light pressure as it's spinning so you have a nice clean surface when it's done curing. So I'd love to hear what you think about how this water bottle turned out. Do you like the colors that I picked? Do you like the quote? How would you decorate your tumbler with resin? And then make sure you go check out the links so you can get more information about this resiners air purifier. In addition to this resin project, I turned it on when I was working on my nails and I got rid of the acetone fumes. I turned it on when I was working with my laser cutter downstairs and cutting some acrylic. We do have it vented out the window, but sometimes that, that uh, strong laser acrylic smell can still kind of seep back into the house. And so I had this filter running and it cleared out that air nicely for us. So if you do any of those projects, you'll definitely be interested in checking out this machine. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you catch all my future videos and I will see you next time.